Tea, the most traditional beverage of India, is one of the most loved and most consumed drinks in the country. Be it early morning during breakfast, after lunch or with an evening snack, a cup of tea goes perfectly well with anything at any time of the day. As a result, leading to innovative and unique recipes curated by adding a little twist to traditional recipes. One such unique beverage is a tandoori chai. Hi, my name is David Manohar. I'm the founder of a brand called Vichai. So I'm basically a Chennai boy only. So I'm born and brought up in Chennai and then I did my uh, UG here in Chennai only. And then later uh, I did my masters in London. All my studies I did everything related to hotel management only. I was, so I was completely working for different hotels and restaurants across India, London and Dubai and all that. Uh, but what inspired me to get into this business is basically my mother only. I mean at a very early stage even my mother also tried to give me the, I mean uh, educate me how to cook and you know how to take things forward and all that. And that's when we created this uh, brand called uh, Vichai. So Vichai is nothing but a modern tea outlet. So we've all come across different modern tea outlets. Just like yet another modern tea outlet, ours is also a, another modern tea outlet. But how different are we compared to others is, we are the only brand in South India to provide tandoori tea in our outlet. Now what is tandoori? Tandoori tea is nothing but a masala tea where only selective uh, spices are blended into the tea. And then that tea is infused into almost 400 degrees of hot pot. So this pot is heated at 400 degrees in charcoal and when you infuse the tea it turns to boil out so it see the process looks totally different compared to you know your uh, other regular tea and all that and not only that while creating this brand we always wanted this brand to you know be benefit to others as well so that's when we came up with this franchising concept also we give quality product at a very affordable price and number two is at an affordable price for a franchisee to start our product or our unit at their location. One is, imagine someone wants a modern tea outlet. At today's date, taking up a modern tea outlet franchisee at a 3.5 lakhs uh, budget is next to impossible. Uh, but here we give it at uh, you know 3.5 lakhs including complete setup which also includes the equipments, which also includes the interior setup, training process, everything together at 3.5 lakhs where a franchisee has to just look out for a space in their location. 200 to 150 square feet of uh, space is okay. Different types of marketing strategies that we use to you know take our products out or our franchises out to the uh, market is so one is we use uh, the social media platform and uh, yeah initially we had our own difficulties where you know the moment someone sees our outlet they think it looks classy so uh, if I go in the team might cost more. Apart from that whenever we create uh, we start a new outlet what we do is we try to sell tea at 5 rupees and we distribute a lot of pamphlets and you know we do a lot of marketing stuff to ensure people you know are aware that you know there is something uh, that they are, they are getting it at 5 rupees and the idea is to not sell the tea at 5 rupees so we do not want our franchises to you know spend on marketing budgets in different elements so instead i say you take a hit you do a reverse marketing strategy you take a hit in the product menu and promote it once people like your product once people get to taste your product and they know the tea here is also just at 10 rupees then definitely they are going to be yours We get a lot of reports from our uh, franchisees and our own outlets uh, saying that the major customers that we get are all repeated customers. All the customers love our products. If at all there is any kind of issues, we immediately attend to the issue and we solve it out then and there. Initially when we started, uh, we had a couple of employees with us uh, who are still there with us. Normally when you go to any other tea outlet, you know, you need a tea master or a cook to prepare the product. But here you don't need a tea master or a cook because we follow SOP method, standard operating procedure method. In terms of competition, I, I don't really look at someone as my competitor because all the decisions that we take, my competitor will be in between. So I normally do not take anyone as my competitor and you know uh, uh, act accordingly. So what I do is I kind of look, uh, you know, get into a focus of what we are doing. So see, first and foremost, we have to accept 
how the business flow is. So when it is down, for our franchisees, you come to us, we will help you out, we will see what can be done and we will ensure you are out of that situation. Okay. For others, understand it, think about it, don't take very immediate decisions and you know, get into conclusions. Think about it, discuss with a lot of people who are already experienced in this and then take a call. Start a VHI franchise, the licenses that you need is, uh, basically you need two licenses. One is an FSSI license and other one is a trade license. So these licenses can be obtained by going to the uh, closest corporation office and you meet the health inspector or you know, anyone in the corporation office. I'm sure they will help you out and they will get it done for you. And it is, it is not as, uh, you know, a tedious process to do that, you know, you have to uh, abide with their uh, requirements and in terms of documentations or whatever and it is, it will be done, you just have to pay them the uh, basic uh, fee of fee for it and it will be done. Criteria or eligibility for someone to start our franchisee, uh, see there is no big criteria or eligibility to uh, run our franchisee, what we see is the passion that they have towards running a business first. Number two is they should you know, be uh, ready to do any kind of work within our premises uh, uh, to make a customer satisfied or to ensure the business runs smoothly. I was very clear that at the start of uh, creating Vichai brand that we have to only uh, prepare our tea with tea leaves and not tea dust. Because the quality of tea differs a lot. So we source our tea leaves from Assam. So we do not go with another garden or you know from another hill station or anything because the, the taste differs. There are a lot of differences in terms of taste and the consistency of the tea. The tea business is a tried and tested business sector with a high success rate. It is an industry with an ever-growing demand where entrepreneurs have huge potential to grow their business and flourish.